Okay, here's the uh, axle flux attempt to wind nine coils. That's my uh, coil winding equipment here. I MacGyvered a, uh, a counter. This little sucker is 0.6 of an inch. Simply goes like so. And then we get the you can call it a cap, I guess. And we get the bolt. The bolt. Where's my bolt? Alright. There's the bolt. And a little snuggy there. That's good enough. Is there any gap? Yeah, there's no gap. So simply, I have some lines here to tell, you know, tell me, guide me, or give me an idea, an indicator, where uh, my coil would lay a certain count. And anyway. so this is how it work. You're going to notice there's 65 there. I already done one. 65. Disregard this little million zillion digit there. Anyway, 65 there. And this is how it work. Simple, really. I ran out of scotch tape, so I used red tape. Just as good. So it comes down. That's one. That's two. And so on. And the coil is right there. Simple. Anyway. So with this gadget, I've created this monster. Okay? Not a bad finish. And here's what we have here. This baby here fits, mm, you know, not too bad in this diagram. This is what we got. So we got 65 turns in here, gauge 14 wire, obviously it's one strand. The thickness of this sucker is 0.6 of an inch. The measurements this distance is 3.5 inch, this distance is 3 inch, this distance is 2 inch, this distance 1.75 inch. So these measure based on these measurements in this the thickness of it will give me 65 turns in gauge 14. All this is all this work is for a an oxal flux nine coils 12 magnets 10 inch diameter mag magnet rotor and the idea is to have at 150 rpm it would start giving me 24 25 volts at 150 rpm 
This is all just from you guys, some of you guys that are helping me, so it's just theory right now until we test the first coil. So at 150 RPM it would start producing 24, 25, 25 volts. 25 volts with no amps really, it's just uh, freewheeling at that point and then above 150 RPM start drawing some power. Hopefully this setup would work. Um, if it's too much maybe we can play with the distance, the air gap because right now it's, if this is point 0.6 the air gap will be really 0.65, uh, 625 So, uh, tell me what you think. Everybody has an opinion. It started okay, but I didn't end up. I end up a little bit of. I can spend more time on it and make it all even like this. It's possible, even with primitive. Um, it's just the thinking behind it that matters. Really, it's it's what you can do. Just wood, a bunch of nails. Check this out. That's a wrench. That's where I got the wrench. And an Allen key. That's where my Allen key is. Just can't find it, but now I know. Okay, no big deal. No scotch tape or duct tape, but red tape will do. And um, bearings in there. Anyway, okay, well, tell me what you think. That's that for now. A lot of work ahead.